All right, go ahead and tell us your name, how long you've been here, what you do, what you've done at Webco. Yeah, so I've been with the company for 27 years. Uh, started off at the warehouse, worked into kind of raw material and then production planning into various departments uh, right, right now. I'm part of the account planning. I head that team up of our contractual type business. I would love for you to just tell us your story, what you do, um, and kind of start just how you got into what you do. So we search for missing persons. Um, could be a person with dementia, mental disability. A lot of times the family would come directly to our team or law enforcement we come to our team for assistance in trying to help locate their loved one. In 2015, two boys ended up missing from Oklahoma Hoods, like a little concert series in prior Oklahoma. It's called Rocklahoma. And they were drove back to their home in the middle of a storm and never showed up home. A family was calling out for volunteers to help. I mean, they're just kind of in dire need of people to search. The two boys were close to my kids' age. So that really hit hit home. I wanted to meet up with the, the family and help in any way that I could possibly help. I got to see firsthand what families have to go through. Kind of the, you know, not knowing. I know that you have tons of training and a wide swath of things, a bunch of continuing education that you've done. But did that start prior to this this event or? Really, the training part for me started late 2015. FEMA uh, trained with the fire departments, trained with law enforcement, also trained with uh, a few things through OSBI. Anything that I can think of that could possibly help us into the in the field of keeping people safe. And I've heard you talk about the law enforcement and fire training. So I take it you work hand in hand oftentimes with them Absolutely. on some of this stuff. Yeah, Absolutely. You've got a wall of certificates. <laughs> what are some of the other things that um, maybe not necessarily just related to this, but that you have trained for? So, you know, at the end of the day, you want to get find a missing person early. Yeah. So it could be a wreck. It could be they've fallen down and gotten injured. So you, you have uh, specific trainings to if a wreck happens, if an injury happens. Okay, so these are all very uh, scenario specific. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, so just rescue. I mean, it's what the fire department, department's training. And so swift water rescue, rope rescue. So if I need to go down a hill or a ravine, vehicle extravation, how do you get a person out of a vehicle? You know, for me, 16 principles at Webco, I mean, teamwork, you trust, empower people, just and being agile on the field. So a lot of things cross over into the, what I call field operations. You know, I've, I've since retired late last year, and um, except for, you know, any cases that I've worked in the past are always active cases for me and get more intel. I'll always be there for family. I call them my extended family. After you work with families and these people are family for life. I, I appreciate the people that I surround myself with. The team, like I said, I can't explain enough of just big hearted people. Yeah. I mean, it's no buy in team. It's the people that I surround myself with and just heart. I mean, like you yeah. said, great people. Yeah. Brian, I appreciate it. No problem. You're really good, man. It's cool. That's good stories.